the radio came in this box in the box on top of the radio you can find the user manual on several languages data cable the radio with the battery and antenna additional stuff USB-C USB cable charging station you can charge the radio using the charging station you can plug in into the charging station and see the process of charging also you can charge the radio using USB C cable only just plug in into the battery and see the process of charging on the screen and see the red light sign of the process of charging when the radio is charged the light is green on top of the radio you can find the volume knob and uh, power on switch additional knob for adjustment and uh, using some functionalities yeah it works like this the antenna has uh, SMA mail connector and uh, the radio has SMA mail port additional functionality button on top of the radio the microphone you can find in this place it's place unusual for microphone usually uh, we can find the microphone on top of the screen on the bottom of the screen on the right side you can find the port it's cover for the connection data cable and uh, headset on the left side you can find the PTT button and two functionality buttons on the opposite side you can find the USB port as we see before let's see the battery the battery has 2800 milliamps and 7.4 volts let's compare the size of the radio you can see the two radios ISO V6R and Allen's the belt clip connects to the body of the radio not to the battery the working frequency band of the radio in VHF band from 136 MHz to 174 MHz in the UHF band this radio works from 400 to 480 MHz in this radio you can type the frequency in the V4 mode just 145 5 you press menu you get the frequency if you would like to switch to the channel mode just make the long press on the exit button and you can see the channel mode and all channels you can rotate the knob and switch between the channels if you'd like to change the band A and B just short press to the star and you switch the radio the length of the antenna around 13 centimeters let's see the parameters of the antenna we can see right here the antenna works on 2 meters and 70 centimeters band but let's check it closely these parameters on 2 meters band and let's see on the 70 centimeters band mm, on the 70 centimeters band the antenna works much better uh, around 462 MHz. Let's go to the menu of the radio. 
you know, is simple to use. Let's select the main functionalities. The first one is display mode, frequency name and channel, band settings, band A, band B. You can select only band A on the screen. Just turn off one of the band. Let's go back, band settings, enable, exit, yeah, radio, backlight, the time of the backlight uh, key function. You can select the side key function for each of the button. Currently we have the three buttons. Top key, short press, uh, top key, long press, side key one, side key two. Let's go to the menu of the functionalities, which you can put on this button. This uh, menu has plenty of the functions. Let's go back. Audio, mid gain, mid gain, low, normal, and strength. Exit, next, VOX, power save, menu timeout settings, next one, language, currently in this version of the radio only English, exit. Save channel, radio information, this information, the hardware and firmware version, exit, exit next, zone, channel, in this uh, menu you can see the bandwidth. And uh, squelch level takes power signaling system emergency link list talk around channels you can put the functionalities for each of channel separately exit can signaling that MF signal systems exit next one emergency exit call tone exit FEMA radio factory reset is it that's all i have two radios let's check the microphone and speaker of the radio testing, testing. islands ha1 uv testing the speaker and microphone one two three four five six seven testing testing audio 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 testing testing the microphone and the speaker Good. Before connection to the PC, you should unscrew this thing and connect the data cable, then connect to the PC. After connection to the PC, you can go to the settings and uh, see a lot of functionalities of the radio. Again, all the menu the same as in the radio. You can change the functionality through the PC or through the menu of the radio. SQL you can find in this place in the channel menu 
v4a, v4b. And takes power. That seems the same functionalities as in the most of the radios. Let's check the transmission power on the 70 centimeters band low power 0.2 the middle power 2.5 the maximum transmission power 4.5 watts the 2 meters band low power 0.7 middle power 3.1 and uh, maximum transmission power 4.8 watts this radio has really nice screen because you can see the information from the different angles there are any noise when you touch the screen because a lot of uh, transceivers and held radios has such problem with uh, the color screens because uh, when you touch the screen you can hear the internal noise on the speaker but in this radio there is no any problem you can touch any place on the screen and the reception is pretty good let's check the sensitivity of this radio i have attenuation around 60 db let's open the screen manually Minus sixty eight, minus sixty. Don't forget about sixty dB and the attenuation. Minus 68, I hear the signal, let's compare to the ASO VX6R, it's ASO VX6R, let's go down. Continues again. You can easily remove the main antenna and connect to the antenna which is used in the car and use this radio almost everywhere on the road let's disassemble this radio we should unscrew these bolts these rings and probably we will see what is inside i unscrewed these brass rings and rubber rings are still here all bolts with rubber rings after removing this cover you can unscrew this bolt which is 
much longer than others. Let's see what is inside. Inside the radio we can find BK4819. Let's disconnect this connector antenna and unsolve this microphone wires and unscrew this circuit board and uh, let's see what is on the opposite side of this board. Let's see on the opposite side of the circuit board. The version of HA1G, probably the same as model of the radio for Jimmy Ress. The second circuit board you can see right here the speaker. Hmm. In this case, I understood you have to unscrew only two rings to have this circuit board off. Don't forget, just unsolder there this microphone and disconnect the connector of the antenna port. FM radio. Works pretty good. You can find this on the menu and type the frequency one zero zero zero. Now let's turn on the radio. Let's check harmonics. Currently, I'm using a couple of attenuators. In tiny SA, two meters bent. Let's transmit. We can see the main signal and the second harmonic. Seventy centimeters bent and transmit. We can see the main signal. <laughs> 